How's it going guys? I'm the Individualist and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Battlefield 5's beta. Um, so it was just released to the public. I did not pre-order anything but a public beta is now out for Battlefield 5 and I played it because why would I not try out a game for free if it's out there? I liked Battlefield 1 so I thought you know what I just want to see what's up because look if the game is good even though I, I'm probably still not going to buy it, even if the game was good, I wasn't going to, you know, purchase it. I wanted to see what's up for myself because, hey, you know what? A lot of the guys that are making the game aren't speaking out. They're just the people in charge, the guys making the big bucks, like Patrick Sutherland, piece of crap, you know, talking. But what about the guys that are making the game? And is the game good? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to say this to you guys based on the beta, based on what I've played. I've played about like three or four hours at this point. So I not, I don't have 10, 20, 30 hours of experience on it. But, you know, I feel like after, you know, three or four hours of playing, I kind of have a good idea of what the game is. And I'm going to say it's honestly mediocre, if at best. If not, really, it just feels kind of like a reskin. Of Battlefield 1. I think the gunplay is a little bit slow. I don't really think it's anything better than what Battlefield 1 was. If anything, it was, you know, kind of sluggish. I did notice that they kind of changed some things up about, like, getting ammo or getting revived. Which, honestly, I think I hated. Um, the idea that... Now you can get revived by your squad members or by a medic. Uh, wasn't really my thing. I wasn't really into it. it. The other thing is, there's so many moments where I die, and then I'm sitting there, and you have to wait for yourself to bleed out, and it takes like 30 seconds to get through it. I'm sorry, but most of the time... I just want to jump back into the action. And this literally was like watching a commercial in a football game. You literally are in the middle of the action. And then it's like, we're going to commercial break. Let's sit here and wait while you bleed out. And you just get to stare at all the action. And all you want to do is jump back in. I hated that. Also, I kind of just feel like they didn't really do anything different think the game kind of feels stale it i mean it's a battlefield game they have the same concepts the same mechanics as they've kind of always have but it just honestly did not feel good it didn't feel like they have improved the format at all and it even more feels more stale because honestly it's world war ii going from a world war one game to a world war ii game i kind of feel like they not enough is different that it just feels stale and boring. A lot of the guns feel the same. The sniping feels okay. I mean, it's the same as Battlefield 1. The, you know, obviously there's going to be some balancing once the real game comes out, but I, I'm not going to probably play it, so I don't really care. Um, and I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about it. I'm not really happy with what I've played so far, and... I wanted to give it a fair chance because, again, there's a lot of guys that work on this game that don't necessarily share all of these, you know, things that Patrick Sutherland, EA, or whoever is pushing out their whatever bullshit they are. Like, there's a lot of guys that put their blood, sweat, and tears into this, but it really just didn't feel like it. And you know what, Dice? You know, Battlefront 2 is bullshit, and you kind of screwed us over with that. And I kind of feel like this is the same thing. It feels like another screw me over moment. It's like, hey, consumers, buy a reskin of Battlefield 1. We're calling it Battlefield 5. Buy it. So, I mean, obviously you guys are seeing some gameplay. Of me playing the game, not very good. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, look at me. I'm MLG Pro. Mega Loser Gamer. That's what MLG for me stands for. But... Uh, I mean, like, I, I just, I, I just, 
think it's mediocre. It's not worth buying, especially when there's you, games like Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, which, you know, whatever, another Black Ops Call of Duty game. But, but it's still coming out. There's all these amazing games coming out towards the end of this year that I kind of just feel like Battlefield 5 is just kind of like the ugly stepchild that no one really wants. No one wanted this game and now and there's so much negative controversy going around about it that now this is where we're at. I don't really know what to think. I don't really know what to say. I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, for your entertainment, here's a montage of me dying a lot. Well, I don't really know but that was pretty gay, as in happy. Rude. 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 Wieners. Four twenty. L O L O L. Fuck. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Fuck. I know how to solve this. No, no, I'm innocent. Damn it. I really wanted to hurt the tank, but I didn't hurt the tank. Fuck balls. I suck. Oh, that's cool. It's, uh, of course, it's cool. It's cool. Shit. So basically, I'd like to give this a rating on my scale of good to bad. And I mean, I honestly just think it's not, it's, it's mediocre. mediocre. That fits within the scale because I said so. It doesn't matter. It, it fits. It's mediocre. I don't suggest buying it. I mean, go play, the, go play it yourself. You guys can. It, I mean, it's free. The beta's free. Go check it out. Try it out. See what you guys think. Because honestly, that's the best way for you to make your own judgment on it. Everyone has different opinions. And that's the best way to do it. But honestly, I would say it's not worth wasting your time on. But if you have any doubts, check it out. Side note. There's no Nazis in the game. There's no Nazis. You can't say the word Nazi in a World War II game. There's no Nazis in this game. I just realized that there's no Nazis in this game. The Nazis are not in the game. Uh, there's no... It's like, kind of like, the good guys fighting the other guys. Not like, you know... I'm sorry. It's a World War II game. I, I Like, listen. All the, you know, women thing... The whatever, all that stuff going on. I'm not happy about that. I don't think that's. I don't think any of that is that consequential. But the thing that pisses me off more than any of this is a World War II game without swastikas, without that type of accuracy. That's more important to me than anything else. Is the fact is, it's like you are fighting the Nazis. You are in Europe. That's who I want to see myself fighting. I don't want to see myself fighting whatever the fuck I was fighting. It. I'm sorry. Like, that is a huge thing. And I'm sorry if people get offended by a swastika. But, it's you know, it's history. And that's not that big of a deal. Like, if you look back at history. I understand. But, like, come on, guys. Is it seriously that? It's like Battlefield Five politically correctness edition is that what this game is come on guys please look why do you got to do this what what what's the point of making a world war ii game if you're not fighting fucking nazis oh because maybe you have to be nazis and people don't like to be that seriously fucking god damn it god damn it yeah so now that's the real end of the video. So now I'm going to drop it from mediocre to worse than mediocre to butthole. It's a butthole game. It's a, 
It's a dick weasel, loser, butt munch, crap game. I don't like it. I don't like that. I almost forgot to talk about it, but I'm talking about it now because I want you to know that you can't even say Nazi in chat. You can't even say it. You cannot spell N-A-Z-I in chat. In a rated M game, you can't swear either. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And comment. And like. Do all those things, please. I would really appreciate it. Take care. Oh yeah. Glitches. Glitches. Look at that glitch. Look at this dude. Thanks for your money. Stole his wallet. Fuck that guy.